Programming is a growing field and one of the most in-demand skills on the job market right now. Due to a highly competitive environment, it's not possible for everyone to reach the top. So how do you go about improving your programming skills? I believe that everyone should learn programming. It doesn't matter whether you're an engineer, accountant, marketer, or a doctor. Programming offers something to everyone. So if you're starting as a programmer, or even if you're familiar with the dynamics of programming, how can you become better at this art? Programming is a quite demanding skill and requires determination, time, and effort to become a high quality programmer. So in this video, I'll talk about how you can improve your programming skills to stand a better chance in the software development industry. I'll share a few tips for both beginners and advanced learners to help you become a better programmer or to start your career as a developer or a freelance programmer. First, code, code, and code. It may sound intimidating at the start, but learning how to code consistently is the first thing to do to become a better programmer. Regardless of what language you're using, coding regularly helps you intuitively learn some of the complex design concepts in programming. It teaches you how to handle errors, threading, and how to develop efficient algorithms in your programs. You need to always stay sharp and try new things to avoid complacency. This is particularly true if you're a student or work in a profession where your primary daily tasks are not programming related. Like any skill, if you stop practicing, you'll lose that skill. If I were a new developer, I suggest you pick a popular general purpose programming language like Python to start learning with. If you're a professional developer, try to stay sharp and learn new things by working on coding challenge sites to test your knowledge on a language and to learn new and efficient ways to solve problems. Next, read more books. No matter how much content you can access online, I believe there is still a great place to learn from books and academic text. Reading books will help you understand the theoretical background in programming. It helps you write efficient and clean code, which is a great weapon for the skilled programmer. Books can also teach you more than just technical aspects of being a skilled programmer. You can learn essential life and soft skills to further advance your personal and work lives. If you're wondering what the right books are to read, check out my video on some of the best programming books for programmers. I'll put the link in the description. Next, read Stack Overflow. Stack Overflow is a great place for programmers and it's commonly used by new and experienced developers. It virtually answers every question you can have about programming because there's so much content and input from experienced programmers. When you're on Stack Overflow, read the question and answer section. You'll find people talking about different types of programming tools, solving complex coding problems, and discussing the latest programming languages. You can learn some useful stuff about programming and what tools to focus on. Stack Overflow answers are in a community-backed ranking system so there's a high chance you'll end up learning the best tips and tricks about programming. One thing to note though, is to be mindful of the time the question was asked and answered, because the right answer five years ago might not be the right answer today. Programming languages add new features all the time, and frequently you'll learn a custom function shared on Stack Overflow a decade ago has been added as a built-in function to the language itself a couple years ago. Next, get peer reviews. This one's for slightly experienced programmers. If you're working on some code, Get reviewed by fellow developers at work or your classmates. When you get input from others around you, it helps you look at the code from another perspective. There will always be something that you left on notice so you can improve on it. Moreover, it's kind of a litmus test for your code before it even goes into further stages. Finally, it also helps you improve your code and make you more efficient. Working in an open source project can also be a great way to get your code in front of developers for feedback and improvement. Next, review other people's code. Just like you got your code reviewed, you should review other developers' code as well. This will help you understand different methods of coding. Also, it helps your analytical skills. While you're reviewing code, focus on some key elements like how clear is the code and is it well formatted? How easy is it for me to understand? Is there a way to make this code more efficient? You don't always need to review junior developers' code either. You can learn a ton by looking at more experienced developers' code and seeing how they attack a problem. Next, revisit your older code. You always learn new tricks in programming, so it's a great idea to apply these tricks to your existing code. For example, you might have made a calculator years in the past, but now you know more efficient data structures that fit the problem better than your previously naive approach. Go back to your old code for the calculator and start adding the new data structures to it. This way you don't have to start from new code from scratch, and you can always convert your older code to a more efficient one. Likewise, if you learn a new programming language, you can port from another language and develop a new program. Next, stay updated. It's a mistake to stay outdated if you want to excel at programming. Make sure you know the latest industry trends, latest releases, and programming trends. 
For instance, if you're a Python or a Java developer, find out the latest libraries and releases supported by the language. Like I said before, when you stay connected to platforms like Stack Overflow and others, you can get a better view of the latest programming trends. Thankfully, there are so many platforms for programming news, it's not much of a problem to get your hands on the latest information. Here, I would also recommend being present on GitHub. Generally, GitHub features the latest programming problems and coding challenges, so it keeps you on your toes all the time. At the same time, you'll also learn new valuable programming tools. Next, share your work. One great tip to improve your programming is to explain your work to others. Generally, programmers are quite introverted and secretive with their work. However, if you share your work and knowledge, you can receive some surprising feedback that can help you become a better programmer. Moreover, when you explain your code to others, you'll need to understand it yourself first. So you'll write more readable and cleaner code that will assist you while explaining to others. Not only does it make you a better programmer, but it ignites your teaching skills, helping you elaborate complex solutions in a simplified manner for your audience. Being able to teach others and how to address technical problems is a major skill to learn that can greatly increase your career acceleration into tech lead or management roles. Next, pick a learning style. Everyone has their own style of learning. Some people prefer video tutorials while some others are better readers. Whatever your preferred style might be, make sure to stick with it and explore further. A lot of people make the mistake of following a learning style that's just not theirs, so they don't get effective results out of their efforts and ultimately give up. Next, work on real projects. Look for open source projects and become a contributor on them. When you work on real projects, the pressure and level of seriousness is just different, and you're bound to produce results. Such situations often bring the best out of programmers, helping them learn new aspects of not just programming, but project management and teamwork too. Look for projects on GitHub and become a contributor. If you don't know how to find suitable open source projects, check out my video in the subject, link in the description. Next, use the 15 minute rule. This one's an effective technique to become a better and more efficient programmer. The rule says that if you're stuck on a problem for more than 15 minutes, there's no point in wasting more time trying to solve it by yourself. Instead, ask for help from your peers or through online platforms. Generally, Stack Overflow will help you with most of your programming queries and problems. Next, participate in competitions. Competitions bring out the best within programmers. These competitions will help you work more efficiently under pressure. Moreover, they typically use the latest technology and trending tools, so you'll always learn something new from these competitions. Don't compete to win, but to learn new programming tools and techniques. It'll take you a long way in your programming career. If you're looking to pick up a new programming language in 2022, check my video on the top five programming languages to learn. See you in there.